Hey, how are you doing? This is another FIFA 18 experiment. The last one did very well, and I did predicting the Champions League winner using FIFA. So, today, I'm going to do predicting the Europa League winner using FIFA. And we'll see all five games from the semi-final onwards using the real-life draws. So we've got Arsenal versus Atletico Madrid, Marseille versus Red Bull Salzburg. So, we'll see over two legs both semi-finals, one after the other, and then we'll see the final as a one-off match. And we'll see who ends up winning the whole thing in a virtual world on FIFA, where FIFA picks the teams and they control all the players, because I'm going to do CPU versus CPU. I will have no input on any of the players, and we'll see how they play and who ends up winning it. It should be quite exciting with some awesome commentary from me and some incredible highlights from FIFA that was generated by the game. So we started off Arsenal versus Atletico Madrid in the first leg of the semi-final. Arsenal in the home kit, the red and white kit and Atletico in the yellow away kit. So looking at the teams we have Aubameyang up front. Griezmann and Costa up front as well. Both teams got a lot of have got a lot of attacking prowess. Who can score the most goals? Costa have a chance. Oh, he nearly scores it, but a great save from Czech. And why is PS4 giving me notifications when I'm trying to record a video? Come on, that's just rude. But a great, great save there. But it was actually going wide, so it was kind of pointless. But anyway, it, it doesn't matter. It's in the box now for Atletico Madrid, and Thomas puts it in the back of the net with a simple header. After seven minutes, so Arsenal have got 90, no, 83 minutes now to come back in this game. A chance now for Arsenal. Ozil has his shot saved by Oblak. What a great save that was. Well back on the right hand side with Aubameyang in the middle. Who scores it? It's one all. So there's been two goals in 20 minutes. Costa with another chance but it's another save from Czech. Costa cannot score a goal at the moment and after 45 minutes at half time we can see that Arsenal are kind of struggling a little bit. They've only created three shots to five for Atletico and they've got much less possession, which is uncommon for Arsenal, really. But it's still even on goals. But Arsenal need to win this game as they're at home. If they go into the second leg at a draw or a loss, it's going to be really difficult. Welbeck, who oh, has his shot saved by Oblak again. Gabby comes on for Saul, the first substitution of the match. I'm sure there'll be some more in the match in the future. And Welbeck misses another chance inside the box. They may regret some of these missed chances. El Nelly comes on as well. He can make a difference maybe. And now Mkhitaryan with the ball. A great through ball as well. And what a strike into the top left corner. Just after half time. Well, about 20 minutes after half time actually. But it's a great goal. They're winning by a goal. They're finally in the lead. The first time they've been in the lead in this match so far. As Atletico got the first lead. But that means that they're winning. So if it stays like this, they'll be in a good position for the second leg. And it doesn't stay like this, is it? It just doesn't happen, does it? It just never does. No, because Atletico just score. Griezmann scores. There's this funny little weird celebration with his phone in his hand and stuff. And then it's now to all. So, yeah. Interesting. It's been a very interesting game. It's been action at both ends. But... Now it's 2 all, and we played 90 minutes, that's the end of the first leg, that's it. We've got another leg to play, but Arsenal drew it. They're going to be in a bad spot for the second leg, out, away from home. But overall, Arsenal played better in the second half, created more chances, and it was fairly even on possession. So now we'll go into the second leg then, and we'll see if Arsenal can somehow get through and pay a good tribute to Vengo, who's going to leave in real life as well. So the match kicks off. So Arsenal need to win it really or at least get two away goals and draw two all. Otherwise they will be out and Atletico just need to draw the game. A win will be nice for them as well. Aubameyang nearly scores off the post. A chance now for Ozil. Oh he's missed another chance. He missed a few in the last game. He's had one there. He missed it as well. Costa here. Hits the post. Just before half time. That could have been a goal as well. And overall, it's been a pretty boring game. This time, though, away from home, Arsenal have the most possession after the first half, 57%. Three shots as well. They're playing better 
but they're not scoring. They need to start scoring some goals now if they want to win this and get through to the final of the FIFA Europa League. But anything can happen now. It's still nil-nil. And Costa gets it. Oh, he hits the post. Like, how many times in this video is it going to hit the post? How many times? A chance here. Uh, he should have gone for the other corner, really. He went for the wrong corner. Vitolo comes on. Will he make a difference? It's into the box now. Ozil. Ooh. Again, another chance missed. They've only got a few minutes left now in this match. They need to score at least one goal. Gabi on again. And now we have El Neni coming on for Xhaka. A nice little save there from Czech. But it ends up being 0-0. That means Arsenal have lost on the way goals. Atletico got two away goals and Arsenal only got zero. They had more possession. Actually less shots overall though. But you know what? Unfortunately, unfortunately, they're out. So I was hoping for a win for Arsenal. That's what I was hoping for. That they'll get to the final and win it. And then it'll be a nice tribute for Wenger. But you know, it did happen. That's how it is. I make these videos as real as I can. I just do them first try and see what happens. And I just show you the results. I don't fake it by doing it loads of times. This is how it is. And Atletico Madrid will play either Marseille or Red Bull Salzburg, but I'm expecting Marseille to win this, really. As you can see on the numbers in the bottom, uh, below the stars, you can see that Marseille have a better attack, better midfield, and a better defence. So, the white kit of Marseille versus the nice navy blue kit of Red Bull Salzburg. So, looking at the teams, yeah, I'm looking for a, a Marseille win, but it should be fairly close, but we'll see. Let's play the match. So the first chance here, and it looks offside to me. It's in, and it was called offside. First disallowed goal of this tournament so far, and a great save from Pele at full stretch. Another chance here, and it is a goal this time. It's 1-0 to the Austrian team, Red Bull Salzburg. What a great niche. Into the corner where no one was stood. Okay, Sanson with a great finish as well. It's one all they've equalised. And this was quite nice as well. Look at that. Driven, powerful, and away from the goalkeeper. One all then, after 45 minutes, and Red Bull Salzburg are playing better. They're creating more chances, but they have less possession. So maybe Marseille can use possession to their advantage. Let's find out right now. Oh, what a goal that was. Thorvin plays very well, puts it into the top left. Now we have Wolf coming on. And also, Mitroglou comes on for German. So we'll see... If these players can make a difference, as well as Kamara, it's still 2-1 at the moment. And this guy comes on for Salzburg. Into the box now. Oh, he should have scored that. I thought that was offside, actually. But it, I don't think it was. Another chance here for Thorfinn. And it's a similar goal to his first goal in the match. It's 3-1. What a beautiful finish, finish from that same side. 3-1 now. And it means they're cruising. They're absolutely cruising. They're dominating the game. Another substitution for both teams. I think that could be all three for both teams made now. So there might not be many substitutions in the match. But it, what it looks offside there. He's, he's still got a chance. Mitroglou finishes it in the top left corner. I did think that was offside. It did look a bit strange to me. But apparently it's not. So Mitroglou, the sub, becomes a super sub and scores. And he scores another one. It's 5-1. And it's very likely that Marseille will be playing in the final unless Salzburg can do something spectacular in the second leg. So it's looking like it's going to finish 5-1. It's definitely looking like that. But anyway, let's see the second leg with Salzburg at home. Maybe because they've got the home advantage, maybe they can actually do something. Anyway, let's find out what happens and enjoy this game. But Salzburg needs to win by four goals, so I have a feeling it won't happen. But let's find out, a chance here, and he's missed it. Those are the chances that we need to be scoring from, but it's a post hit again. They've hit the post how many times in this, in this video? Thought he misses, and it's nil-nil. Not the most exciting match that I've seen on this video so far. And Marseille failed to have a shot on target. Not great football, to be honest, but you know what? Maybe it'll improve in the second half. Let's have some excitement. So Payet will go up to take the free kick. I mean, I hope he does at some point. He's, he's been waiting there for a while. He's been stood there for about 10 minutes. Literally just looking at the ball. Hopefully he'll actually take it at some point. 
We are waiting. We are waiting. Come on, take it. And he pulls it over. So after all that, he pulls it over. What's the point of that? Anyway, another save there. We're knocking on the door for a first goal. Here's a chance now. Off oh, the post again. How many times are we going to hit the post in this video? It's crazy. We do it every single time you get an opportunity at the moment. Mr. Oakley, the super sub from the last game, comes on the pitch. Can he score his two goals like he did last time? Over the top to Mr. Oakley. He should score this... Uh, yeah. Off the post again. Seriously. This post is a curse. The amount of goals that could have been scored if the goals were a bit wider. Now a substitute here. So Payet comes off. For the campus. And a chance, but it's been saved. And that's it. No goals are scored after that. So we're going to have... Marseille playing against Atletico Madrid. Now, some of the comments in the last video are saying, oh, Liverpool shouldn't have played at Anfield. So today, we're going to do it on the real stadium that plays a final in the real Europa League 2018. And that is the Parc de Princes, or Parc de Princes, or whatever. I don't know how you pronounce it. But there you go. First shot of the game goes to Atletico Madrid. And it's been saved by Pelly. Into the box now. And are they going to score this? Maybe. Uh, oh, okay. That was quite interesting. He, he did an overhead kick there. Tried to do a basketball kick. Didn't work out. But he tried it and he, it was quite good. If it was a bit low, it would have gone, gone in. It would have been a goal. But you know what? It's fine. He's now started crying on the pitch. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, this was a, the challenge. It was quite a good one, actually. He got the ball. But then he starts, he starts crying on the pitch. So that's not great. Anyway, half time after 45 minutes. One shot to Marseille and four to Atletico. It's nil-nil. No goals have been scored yet. But surely, in the next 45 minutes, someone will score. Atletico Madrid have the better side. They have the better players. They have to use them to their advantage and score a goal. Mitroglu comes on again as a super sub for Juman, who's actually fresh. Which is quite interesting. And then Gabby comes on for Saul. Again, that happens quite a lot. Another substitution. There's nothing really happening other than substitution, so I'm just going to show you that. Anyway, here's a chance at the end of the game, but it doesn't result in a goal. Another substitution. I just love showing you substitutions, don't I? That actually mean absolutely nothing because no one wants to score a goal. But anyway, hopefully in the last minute someone will score. No. They don't. So we'll go to extra time and see if someone can actually score a goal in these 30 minutes we have right here. Because if someone doesn't score soon, I will be falling asleep. Here's a chance here and... Uh, no, we don't score. So after 105 minutes, it's still nil-nil. Please, can someone just score a goal? I've been waiting for so long. Costa here has a chance. And finally... Finally, we see a goal, and finally the ball has not hit the post in this match. 1-0 to Atletico Madrid, and because of the away goal rule in the Europa League, I think it means that, in theory, they actually win 2-0, but they don't win 1-0, but usually if you get an away goal, the goals are doubled, but it doesn't matter, because they end up winning anyway. Marseille don't even reply, they can't score a goal, and it means that Atletico Madrid end up winning the virtual Europa League, the league, Europa League that's in FIFA anyway, that I've created, and that would be who wins it in FIFA. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video, I've enjoyed making it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, I cannot stress, stress, I cannot stress this enough, how important it is to turn on those notifications, otherwise you will miss videos. And it's so important, I can't even speak properly. So make sure you do it. Turn on that bell, press the bell button, and it'll all be done. And you'll be able to watch all my videos from now on. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you do those things. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.